All right, I gotta share a quick story that I'm gonna go in and get some water and bananas. Uh, this month, um, I've worked out every day, 20, 30 minutes, uh, but we have this heart rate monitor that we wear uh, that tracks points per color. So if you're, there's like different colors, you get different points per minute that you're in that color, tracks your heart rate, percentages, all that. And our company, I'm sorry, our gym, we, we have to get a, I'll explain in a minute while I'm so exhausted. Uh, our Snap Fitness, the gym we go to in Springfield, tracks all of our points. And I either haven't worn this, or I could say I forgot to wear it. I just didn't wear it, it's okay. Uh, just didn't wear it, or when I would go to the gym, I'd work out like 20, 30 minutes. I'd do like the bike, or the treadmill, and then some burpees and push-ups, or tricep dips, or pull-ups. Like I wouldn't get too crazy, and so I'd only get like 20 or 30 points some days, right? We were supposed to get 1,300 a month. Well, long story short, I had about, I needed 600 and something after I left 8%, because 8%, I got to the gym every day, I got I, I got a little bit of a workout in, but I never like went full out, unfortunately. So I got, uh, I got, um, I was 600 points down with four days left in the month, okay? 28th, really five days left originally, 28th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, today's the 30th, then 31st of July. Um, so I need like 150 points a day. I didn't get them, I was barely getting them. As of this morning, um, I woke up, I needed like 600-ish points, maybe just under 600. It's two days left. That means I gotta get 300 points a day or 600 points in the next 48 hours. The problem with that is uh, you need to be in the red or the yellow, which is like 80% or higher, which is pretty high. That's pretty tough to do consistently, especially the better you get, the better shape you get, the harder it is to get your heart rate up, by the way, okay? So I got like, um, you, know, you get three points per minute, I think it is, when you're in those higher levels. Well, I, I went to the gym this morning. I woke up first and I'm like, man, I'm so, I gotta get 600 points. Also, you start to accumulate like statuses and stuff. And so the, the more months you do it, if you do it for a year, you get like silver and bronze and gold and platinum and diamond, you get all this stuff, you start earning awards. And then you start getting like recognized amongst the gym, right? And on the app and everything else. Well, this morning I need like 600 points. And I'm like, man, I do not think I'm gonna make it. I don't think I'm getting 600 points. Like that's that's insane. Like I don't even think I got, I, I think I barely got that when I ran an Ironman, by the way. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but it wasn't, it wasn't a lot more. Uh, maybe it was, I don't even remember, but whatever it is. So I'm like, crap, so I went to the gym. Didn't feel like working out. It's an hour earlier at home. You know, woke up at six, like normal, but six at home, seven here. Went to the gym. Didn't feel like uh, working out that hard. Got like 20, 30 points again. Went up, ate a banana, ate some breakfast, worked on some stuff. Had a lot of work stuff going on. Had a lot of work stuff come to light the last <laughs> uh, 12 hours, 15, 18 hours, whatever. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm like, what am I personally, like I'm asking myself, okay, what am I, what, what am I gonna think in, what am I gonna think on August the 1st when I lose my status? Because if you ever don't get 1300 points in a month, you lose your status and you start all over. Well, I've been doing this whole status thing for at least, at least 18 months consistently, if not longer. And so I thought I was gonna lose it today. I'm like, you know what, gosh dang it. So then I'm sitting there and I'm like, why don't I just go on a hour run, you know, three and a half miles down one way. It was like 3.2, 3.3, I went a little farther and then come back about, about an hour. Um, and I haven't ran that much since the Ironman either. But I thought, you know what, um, why don't I just, why don't I just go for it? Why don't I run for an hour and just see what happens, see what we're at, okay? So I'm reporting that I just finished um, I'm exhausted, close to seven miles probably, over an hour. Um, and I'm at 300 points and counting because my heart rate's still up. I probably gotta do something similar tomorrow because before this run started, I needed 559 points. Um, but I can tell you, I'm getting my 600 and I'm getting my 1300 for the month. And the reason why is, okay, there's a lot of times in life where we do not feel like doing it, right? We'll show up. We'll go to the gym, we'll go to the office, you know, and, and really Patrick Bet Davids uh, uh, answered a question for me on, from st on stage at 
and he talked about how he used to do these competitions with his team, with his team teammates and salespeople when he first started as an insurance agent. He would make his 40 dials, and then he would look around and say, "Okay, who wants to go 10 more?" Right? And some people would leave, some people would stay. They would all do 10 more. Okay, 10 more, right? And and they would do 10 more dials. Few would leave, few would stay, and they'd get, it would always get down to him and one other person. And he would say, "Okay." Let's do our 10. So we do our 10, 10 more dials. And uh, eventually the one person would give out. And he knew deep down that he was gonna go until he was the last man standing. And so he shared that. And I thought about that story this morning, by the way. And I thought, you know what? What kind of hypocrite would I be when I don't feel like doing it? I'm mentally thinking it's not gonna happen. And I'm at the conference talking about show up, perform and win, right? I've showed up. I, I go to the gym every day, you know, sometimes harder than others. I haven't, haven't had my trainers. Could use that as an excuse. I've been out of the country or out of the country or out of the state of Missouri, probably close to 20 of the 30 days, by the way. So I've been home a lot. I've got to hold myself accountable. You get the idea. I'm showing up. I'm going to the gym. I'm putting in the work a little, but I'm never really performing, right? To the level that I can. And so I said, what, what, why don't you, you're showing up, but why don't you just try to perform one day and see what happens, okay? So I go on a seven mile run just to perform. Guess what? If I continue to perform and I perform later today or tomorrow again, I will win. I will hit the 1300 points that I need to keep my status with the gym and to not look like a chump, okay? So I tell you that because um, we all have those days, we all have those weeks, we all have those months, whether it's business, whether it's fitness, whether it's diet, whether it's, you know, faith, whether it's our, whether it's our, our, our marriage, whatever it is, right? Finances, our mental state, our emotional state, you know, whatever, right? Look at that, your haircut. We all have those days, okay? Jeez Louise, look like alfalfa. We all have those days. The difference is how do we respond and what do we do, right? We all can show up, but we have trouble showing up sometimes. Then some days we show up, but we don't really perform and we kind of talk ourselves out of it. And the days that we show up and perform, good things seem to happen and we seem to win. So the message is, I'm exhausted, just had a five day event, killed myself, tired of ever been in my life. I went on a little, literal mental marathon, but I'm not gonna not show up, perform, and win in July or August or any other month moving forward. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see ya. Take, go on, go on the board with your partner and write down a list of 40, 40 words on the wall, okay? Then I type in life insurance, and I go filter, put a view count. So, 